Hi students, have a nice day. In this section, we are going to discuss about competitive electron transfer reactions, oxidation number, and different types of reactions. First one is competitive electron transfer. To understand this concept, we consider one reaction when single rod or a single strip is dipped in copper sulfate solution. As you know that what happens, a zinc is more electropositive than copper. When we take a glass vessel, in that copper sulfate solution is taken. Copper sulfate aqueous. To that, a single rod is placed Okay, a single rod is placed in this solution or a single strip. Zinc is more electropositive than copper. Uh, that's why zinc loses its electron. And the electron lost by the zinc is accepted by copper ions which is present in the copper sulfate solution. Okay, in copper sulfate solution, the ions are Cu2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. Single or a single solid is there. Single solid. And after some time, we can see that the blue color of the Copper sulfate solution fading. What is the color of copper sulfate solution? Blue color. The blue color of the copper sulfate solution is fading. Why? The zinc uh, goes to solution as zinc ion. And copper 2 plus ion get deposited on zinc road or precipitated in the beaker. So, the color of the copper sulfate solution fades because of this reaction. Single solid plus Cu2 plus gives single 2 plus plus copper solid. Okay, no need to write copper sulfate. Copper 2 plus ions are participated. And finally, the solution which contains single sulfate aqueous, which is colorless. When we passing hydrogen sulfide gas through the solution, the zinc is precipitated as zinc sulfide as a white precipitate. You can see that the color of the precipitate is white, dirty white. Or simply we can say that white color. What it means? The zinc loses its electron. Loss two electron. Okay, loses two electron. And these two electrons are accepted by the copper. Gains of two electrons. So this is competitive transfer of electron reactions. Okay or competitive electron transfer reactions. Here more reactive single losses its electron and that electrons gained by less reactive copper. Okay, copper ions gains that two electrons and more uh, make or forms copper solid. That copper is deposited on the single rod or precipitated in the beaker. And this reaction is visibly observed or we can observe these changes visible changes the blue color of the solution fades and after some time it is colorless okay it is totally colorless because the solution containing single sulfate okay we have to uh, know that uh, the zinc uh, is in that solution for that we pass the Hydrogen sulfide gas through the solution, the zinc sulfide is precipitated. Okay, 
in the presence of ammonia the precipitate we can see that so this is competitive electron transfer here zinc is losses its electron that is oxidation you understand that what is oxidation according to electronic concept Losing of electron, okay, removal of electron, losses of electron is oxidation. So that's why it is a reducing agent. As you know that, reducing agent get oxidized. Okay, reducing agent get oxidized. So those atoms or ions oxidize, that is reducing agent. And copper 2 plus ion gains two electrons and that is a reduction okay reduction of copper 2 plus ions and that's why copper 2 plus ions is oxidizing agent oxidizing agent okay so you should learn how to write the oxidation and reduction similarly oxidizing agent and the reducing agent Loss of electron oxidation, gain of electron reduction, uh, reducing agent get oxidized. Where there is oxidation, that uh, substance is reducing agent. Okay, then uh, oxidizing agent get reduced. Then, uh, instead of this experiment, we take a single sulfate solution. We take a single sulfate solution. And a copper rod is dipped in the single sulfate solution. Copper rod. The single sulfate solution is colorless. Okay. We cannot see a visible change. Okay. There is no reaction between copper and a zinc ion. Or copper rod and a zinc sulfate solution. Why? Zinc is more electropositive. Zinc is more reactive. Okay. Zinc has the tendency to lose the electron. And copper ions tendency to gain the electron. Another example. This is an example. And remember that zinc rod you put in copper sulfate solution. Electron transfer reactions occurs, but when we dip copper rod in zinc sulfate solution, there is no visible changes. That is, there is no reaction. There is no chemical reaction between copper and the zinc sulfate solution. Similarly, another example we take copper rod and uh, Silver nitrate solution. Okay, copper rod and the silver nitrate solution. We take a silver nitrate solution in a beaker or in a glass vessel. Okay, it is AgNO3. AgNO3 aqueous. And a copper rod is dipped. Okay. A copper rod is dipped in this solution. AgNO3 solution is colorless. AgNO3 solution is colorless. After some time or after one hour, the color of the solution becomes bluish in nature. The colorless solution becomes blue initially it is a pale blue and uh, again it's a deeper blue in color what it means the copper solid copper rod which is reacted with the silver ion present in the solution produces copper 2 plus ion and uh, 2 ag solids the silver is deposited on the copper rod okay silver deposited on the copper rod and you can see that a grayish color okay a silverish color on the copper rod what it means silver is deposited on the copper rod at the same time copper is goes to the solution as copper ions 
So here copper loses its two electron, losing of two electron, loses two electrons. That is oxidation. Okay, and that's why we can say that in this reaction, copper acts as a reducing agent. Copper acts as a reducing agent because it uh, uh, oxidized. Okay, copper is a uh, reducing agent in this situation because it is oxidized. And uh, silver ion gains two electron. One silver ion gain one electron. So here two silver ions. That's why gaining of two electrons. Okay, what we understand from these two experiments, some metals having the tendency to lose electron. And we have to arrange the tendency of losing electron as a metal activity series or we can form electrochemical series. By these two experiments, it is easily understand that Singh has a tendency to lose electron than the copper than the silver. Okay, Singh is more reactive. Singh has more tendency to lose electron than copper. Copper tendency to lose electron in uh, than that of the silver. Okay, so these experiments we can form a metal activity series or electrochemical series. We will discuss this uh, electrochemical series in detail later as uh, also in plus two classes. Okay, the application is uh, more in plus two classes. Yes, next is oxidation number. To understand the electronic concept of oxidation and reduction, it becomes necessary to introduce a new concept oxidation number. Because the electron transfer is occur in the chemical reaction. The electron shift. So to uh, introduce a new concept to understand the electron transfer. Oxidation state is simply the charge residing on the atom. And oxidation number is defined as the oxidation state of an element in a compound ascertained by a set of rules. The more electronegative atom resides the electron. Okay, the more electro the electron residing on the more electronegative atom. Once again. Oxidation number is a oxidation state of an element in a compound ascertained by a set of rules. The electron residing on the more electronegative atom in a covalent bond. For example, hydrogen and oxygen combines to form water. H2O. Okay, 2H2. Here, in the hydrogen atom, the oxidation state of hydrogen is 0. And the uh, oxidation state of oxygen is also 0. But when the reaction takes place, hydrogen loses its electron and becomes hydrogen plus. H plus. Oxygen gains two electrons and become two minus. The plus one charge on the hydrogen atom is known as oxidation number of hydrogen. That is oxidation state of hydrogen. Similarly, minus two is oxidation number four oxygen atom. Another example, sodium plus chlorine. Half Cl2, Na solid plus half Cl2 gas. 
After the reaction NaCl, sodium loses its electron and become Na plus and chlorine is gains that electron become Cl minus. So plus one is the oxidation state or oxidation number of sodium. Minus one is the oxidation state or oxidation number of chlorine. So here we can write that loss of one electron. One hydrogen loses one electron. Remember that one hydrogen loses one electron. Loss of losses of one electron by one hydrogen. Gains of gains of two electron by one oxygen. One oxygen gains two electron. Here total here two into two four hydrogen. Four electrons are losses. Two oxygen. One oxygen gains two electrons, so two oxygen gains so four electron. Here sodium losses one electron losses or loss one electron. One chlorine gains one electron gains of one electron. So oxidation and the reduction explained by a new concept oxidation number. And this oxidation number is ascertained by a set of rules. Next we discuss the set of rules. Okay, different rules to ascertain the oxidation number. The first rule, an atom or a element in the free state or in uncombined state, it is the oxidation number is zero. Okay. Rules in an elemental state, element state or uncombined state, the oxidation number. Shortly, I write oxidation number. Oxidation number is zero. For example, hydrogen H2, the oxidation number is zero. Oxygen, the oxidation number is zero. Sodium, oxidation number is zero. Copper, oxidation number is zero. Silver, oxidation number is zero. Okay, so an atom in the elemental stage or in an uncombined stage, the oxidation number is zero. Similarly, carbon, carbon is zero. Okay, Cl2. Cl to the elemental stage, zero. Br2, elemental stage, zero. N2, elemental stage, zero. So that's the first rule. Second rule, an ion. Okay, an ion, the oxidation number is same as the charge of the ion. Oxidation number of an ion is same as its charge. For example, H plus. Oxidation number is plus 1. Na plus. Oxidation number is plus 1. O2 minus. Oxidation number is minus 2. OH minus. Okay. The oxidation number of hydroxyl ion is minus 1. Not oxygen, not a hydrogen. Oxidation number of hydroxyl ion is minus 1. Similarly, NO3 minus. Oxidation number of nitrate ion is minus 1. SO4 2 minus. Oxidation number of sulfate ion is 2 minus or minus 2. Okay. So, the charge on the atom or ion is same as its oxidation number. Another is. Hydrogen shows the oxidation number plus 1. Okay, plus 1 in compounds. Except metal hydrides. So the third one is hydrogen shows plus 1 oxidation state. Except, except in metal hydrides like lithium hydride. Sodium hydride, calcium hydride, etc. In these, hydrogen shows minus 1. Okay, 
minus 1 oxidation state. You just memorize that. Hydrogen is usually plus 1 in the compounds, but minus 1 in metal hydrides, alkali metal hydrides and alkaline metal hydrides. Okay, the next alkali metals. Alkali metals always shows plus 1 oxidation state. Okay, group 1 metals, alkali metals. Alkali metals always, always plus 1. Then alkaline earth metal, alkaline earth metals always plus 2. Okay, to calculate the oxidation number, you should keep these in your mind. The next uh, halogens, alkali metals and alkaline earth metals we discuss. Next uh, halogens, halogens usually minus 1. And here one special law, halogens, usually halogens minus 1. Fluorine always minus 1. But chlorine, bromine, Iodine, they show plus oxidation state also. Minus 1 is common, plus oxidation state also exhibited by chlorine, bromine, iodine. Fluorine always minus 1, you keep it in your mind. Okay, then our next oxygen, group 16, oxygen. Oxygen is usually minus 2 in its binary compounds, in its compounds, except peroxides and superoxides. In peroxides, oxygen is minus 1. In a superoxides, superoxides, oxygen is minus half. Okay, these are very special cases. You keep in your mind. Oxygen is usually minus 2. In peroxides, oxygen is minus 1. What are the different peroxides? Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Oxygen is minus 1, hydrogen is plus 1. There are Na2O2. Sodium plus 1, oxygen negative 1. Superoxide, okay. K2O, sorry, KO2, potassium is plus 1, okay, oxygen is minus half, and also oxygen shows positive oxidation state, it is rare in OF2. Oxygen is plus 2. In O2, F2, oxygen is plus 1. Are you clear? In O, F2, oxygen is plus 2. In O2, F2, oxygen is plus 1. Okay. So, these are the special cases. The oxidation state of other elements is determined by Knowing the oxidation state of uh, hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine, like that. Okay, we will discuss some examples. Then another important thing is the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of all atoms in a compound, in a neutral compound is equal to zero. Okay, the algebraic sum of the Oxidation numbers of all the atoms in a neutral compound is equal to zero. For example, H2O. Two hydrogen. So, usually hydrogen show plus one oxidation state. So, plus one into two plus oxygen shows minus two oxidation state. Then, a plus two plus minus two is equal to zero. Okay, algebraic sum of oxidation number of all the atoms 
in a compound is equal to zero. Another one, NaCl. Alkali metals always shows plus one. Halogens usually minus one. That is equal to zero. Okay. Then carbon dioxide CO two. Carbon is a plus four oxidation state. Oxygen is minus two oxidation state. What about the value zero plus four plus minus four? K two into minus two uh, minus four plus four plus minus four. The algebraic sum is equal to zero. Okay, so that's about the rule. Another one, the algebraic sum of the atom present in the ion is equal to its charge. Okay, the algebraic sum of the atoms press the, the algebraic sum of the oxidation numbers. Okay, the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of atoms in an ion is equal to its charge. For example, OH minus OH minus oxygen oxygen is minus two. Hydrogen plus one, minus two plus one is equal to minus one. That is the charge. Are you clear? So the algebraic sum of the atom present in an ion is equal to its charge. Are you clear? Yes. Then uh, similarly, uh, SO four two minus. So four two minus sulfur in this case plus six oxidation state so plus six sulfur in plus six oxygen four oxygen is there and one oxygen having minus two oxidation number what is the final value plus six plus minus eight the resultant Number is minus two. Is clear? The charge of the ion is two minus the oxidation number of sum of the oxidation number of atoms in that is equal to its charge. Okay. As next we discuss a stock notation. Alfred Stock, the German chemist. He developed a, a representation. The oxidation state of an element is represented by a Roman letter or Roman number in the parentheses in the brackets. Okay, for example, stannous chloride. Stannous chloride. That is essence. A S N C L two. The oxidation number of chlorine is minus one, minus one into two minus two is compensated by plus two. And according to stock notation, it is written as Sn two Cl two. Then stannic chloride, SnCl four. It is represented by Sn four. Okay, Roman numerals, which is written in the parentheses or in brackets. Cl four. Okay, then a uh, Ag C a uh, Ag Cl, Ag one Cl. Okay, then a uh, FeO. Oxygen is minus two, so iron is plus two. Then a uh, Fe two oxide. Fe two oxide. Then Fe two O three. Fe three oxide. Then a TiCl four. Ti four Cl four. Titanium chloride. Then AuCl three. Okay, AuCl three. Okay, 
Okay, you put it in the brackets. Okay, understand that. AuCl3. AU3Cl3. Gold chloride. Auric chloride. Okay, similarly, any compound is represented by stock notation. So, alpha and stock are represented the oxidation number by Roman numerals in the parenthesis. Okay, a very simple concept. Next, we have to discuss oxidation and reduction in terms of oxidation number. Okay, oxidation number. When the oxidation number increases, it is oxidation. Okay, when oxidation number increases, the process is oxidation. And if oxidation number decreases, it is called a reduction. Okay, let's discuss some examples. First of all, a simple example. H2 plus O2 gives H2O. The oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. Oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. So here in elemental stage 0, here also elemental stage 0. So hydrogen loses its electron. Oxidation number increases by 1. Oxidation. Loss of electron. Oxidation. So what is oxidation according to oxidation number? If oxidation number increases, it is oxidation. And next is oxidation number decreases by 2. Okay, oxidation number decreases by 2. What it means? Gaining of electron. So that is reduction. Okay, reduction. So, oxidation number increases, oxidation, oxidation number decreases, reduction. Then, which is reducing agent? Reducing agent is hydrogen. So, when a species or an atom, the oxidation number increases, it is a reducing agent. Okay, oxidation number of a Reducing agent increases. Remember that. Once again, oxidation number of a reducing agent increases. If a substance is reducing agent, its oxidation number increases. Then oxidizing agents. Oxidizing agents get reduced. That is, the oxidation state or oxidation number of a oxidizing agent decreases. Are you clear? Oxidation number for a reducing agent increases, oxidation number for an oxidizing agent decreases. That is the oxidation and the reduction in terms of oxidation number. A very simple concept. Next, let's do some uh, problems. How to determine the oxidation number of an unknown element? Okay. Let's practice some examples. The first one is potassium permanganate. Determine or assign the oxidation number of manganese. Here we take, let X be the oxidation number of manganese. Oxidation number of manganese. Then, according to the oxidation uh, number rule, assigning the oxidation number rule, the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of all atoms is equal to zero in the neutral molecule. So the compound is neutral. So here, K plus 1 plus manganese, we don't know, X. Let it be X, we take as a X. Plus 4 oxygen, 1 oxygen is minus 2. The molecule is neutral, that's why we can write that zero. The algebraic sum of oxidation number of all the atoms in a compound is equal to zero. Then, X, okay, one step, one more step I write. Plus one plus X 
minus 8 is equal to 0, x minus 7 is equal to 0, x is equal to plus 7. Okay, plus 1 and minus 8, minus 7. So, x, the minus 7, uh, bring into the right hand side, it is plus 7. That is one example. Next is H2SO4, underlying sulfur. The uh, marked element is sulfur. Okay, again, let X be the oxidation number of sulfur. Oxidation number of sulfur. Here, we apply the rule 2 into plus 1. 2 hydrogen, so 2 into plus 1. Hydrogen is plus 1. Oxygen is minus 2. Then plus sulfur, we don't know, you put it as X. Plus 4 into minus 2 is equal to 0. The molecule is totally neutral. H2SO4 is a neutral molecule. Then plus 2 plus X minus 8 is equal to 0. X minus 6 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus 6. So what is the oxidation number of sulfur in H2SO4? It is plus 6. Similarly, you can find the H2SO3. H2SO3. Let S be the oxidation number of sulfur. So 2 into plus 1 plus X plus 3 into minus 2 is equal to 0. So plus 2 plus X minus 6 is equal to 0. X minus 4 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus 4. In this molecule sulfur is in plus 4 oxidation state. In H2SO4, the sulfur is in plus 6 oxidation state. Okay. Same element having different oxidation state in different compounds. Oxidation number, oxidation state or oxidation number may be 0, negative, positive, even fractional. Okay. Let's uh, discuss some fractional uh, numbers or fractional oxidation number in some compounds. For example, carbon suboxide C3O2. The structure of carbon suboxide is C double bond O. Then three carbon atom is there. This is the structure. So here minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2. The central carbon is 0. But according to the rule, 3 into X. Okay, let X be the oxidation number of carbon. 3 into X plus 2 into minus 2 is equal to 0. 3X plus minus 4. Okay, you write 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. So 3x is equal to plus 4. x is equal to plus 4 by 3. That is 1.33. It's a fraction. Okay. It is a fractional order. Are you clear? Yes. Similarly, Br3O5. Okay, Br3O5, you calculate it. 3 into x plus 5 into minus 2. Okay, then it is 10 by 3. Okay, you practice that. Then uh, another, what we have to do when a compound or ion is given. Okay, a radical or a, an ion is given, how to determine the oxidation state. Same pattern. For example, CR2 O7 2 minus. Determine the oxidation number for chromium. Here we write let X be the oxidation number of chromium. X be the oxidation number of chromium. 
So two chromium that is two x plus seven oxygen, one oxygen minus two. And remember that the oxidation number of an ion is equal to its charge. What is the charge of the dichromate ion? It is minus two. Okay, the charge of the dichromate ion is minus two. So two x minus fourteen. Okay, seven into minus two minus fourteen is equal to minus two. Two x is equal to minus two plus fourteen. Two x is equal to plus twelve. X is equal to plus six. What is the oxidation state of chromium in Cr two O seven two minus? It is plus six. Okay, so you don't uh, worry about whether it is the compound or ion. In a compound, the algebraic sum is zero. In in a neutral compound, the algebraic sum of the all the atoms is equal to zero. But in an ion or a radical, the sum of oxidation numbers of all the atoms is equal to its charge. Here the charge is minus two. That's we write minus two. Okay, two minus charges in the ion, so we write minus two. If a one minus, you write minus one. Okay, so this is about the oxidation number and its determination. Very important concepts. You should practice more questions, more problems to calculate or to determine the oxidation number. Okay, so the next concept we will discuss in the next session. Thank you.